ladies and gentlemen. What, what the hell was that? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jones the Trucker. Well guys, I just got some exciting news. My lease truck is ready. Gonna be in a Kenworth T680, this one right here. I'm about to inspect it, make sure everything's good to go on it. And hopefully I'll leave the yard or the yard. Um, you know, in the next 24 or 48 hours. So, should be pretty cool. Hey y'all, I am, um, well, slept on this truck for the first time last night. I'm still on the yard. Um, but it's a Monday and I'm going to be headed out. I have a load that they've assigned me. Um, it's due in Sher well, it's due to be picked up in Sherman, Texas at like six. So it's only going to Oklahoma. So I'm going to talk with my business team and make sure that that's a smart move. I'm still trying to figure out. Because when I was a company driver, um, I had to accept every load. But now that I am a contractor driver, I have to make sure it makes business sense. Um, so hopefully, I mean, might be just it might just be a smart move to get off the yard. I mean, it's not like it's due in three days and it's only 200 miles away. I mean, it's due later tonight. Um, it's due at like two in the morning. So if I pick it up um, here in Sherman around six and then drive it um, to Oklahoma, you know, that should be fine just to get me off the yard. So that's my thought process. All right, y'all, I am sweaty and I am finally finally clear to leave this yard um and it's it's always whenever you go back to your truck yard like your works headquarters as a truck driver and they it's like kingdom come i don't want to keep you there but uh, you know they end up keeping you there so I am just about ready to, well, I'm gonna plan my trip. I mean, I'm just driving like an hour to Sherman from Dallas and I'm going to plan my trip and basically just punch in in the GPS where I'm going, make sure, you know, everything looks clean. And then I should be good to head out get off the yard um, also got to see why they haven't technically dispatched me on this loan but yeah you know, I'm just ready like about half halfway through my home time I was just like you know what I'm ready to get back out there and get on the road make some money um, be alone and I don't know like nothing against my family or anything I'm just I've been ready to, to leave I think that's a good thing um, because it seems like a good thing I guess but <laughs> I gotta show y'all what this trucker's got right there Pikachu well I took off in Sherman Texas and the sky was looking pretty epic I will say uh, perhaps it was foreshadowing the severe thunderstorm that I'd drive through later this night, that night, tonight, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I drove through some heavy rain and thunder. Didn't feel like voice activating my camera to capture that footage. Um, a little too intense. At one point, um, when I was almost to the shipper in Sherman... Um, remember, I'm in a new truck, guys, and I forgot to strap down my microwave, um, and I hear it start to fall, I see it out the corner of my eye, but I'm in the middle of a turn, and without taking my eyes off the road, I kind of jet my arm back, 
at a 45 degree angle to catch my falling microwave and heave it to my mattress. Um, I couldn't believe I was successful in doing that, but I was, and I felt pretty proud of myself. Well, I made it to, I don't even know the name of this city in Oklahoma. Um, it's like Ocholata, Oklahoma. I think that's it. And um, I made it here. They got me in the door. I was like an hour early. And now I'm just waiting for them to call me and tell me I'm good to go. Um, after I get that call from them, I'm going to shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to shut it down for the night. And, um, get in some good Z's. But yeah, that's the end of this video, y'all.